Kemi. Something wrong? You're not usually a sire. More of a m'lady, I'd say. Oh, do forgive me. I'm just fine. You needn't worry yourself. You don't seem fine. You seem kind of down, actually. Oh, you've got a rather sharp intuition for your age, don't you? So, what's the deal? There's a person I'm rather longing to see. You're pining over someone? That's not very like you either. What kind of person are we talking? <laughs> what kind of person, indeed? I suppose you could call her the second best woman in Akihabara. Second best? I'm more interested in the fact that it's a woman you're after. And what of it, exactly? Um, well, you said she's an Akiba resident, so how about we try tracking her down on your behalf? You do that for me? Well, I must say I'd be positively thrilled. She's a fickle one, though. I have the foggiest idea where you might find her. It's all good. I'm an expert on all things Akiba. What's her name? Got a photo or anything? She goes by Akiho. And unfortunately, she's not a fan of having her picture taken. But she's rather tall, and will most likely be wearing a suit. It's not much to go on, I know, but it's all I've got. Well, we'll do what we can. Yamato, Mippity, let's go see if we can track down this rather tall, suit-clad Akiho person. What the hell's gotten into him? I'm not sure. Hmm, where to start? Hold up, Tachibana. Why are you so keen on doing this? Isn't it obvious? Akemi's all forlorn and lonely over a woman. So this may be our one chance to learn a little more about what she was like back in her more masculine days, you dig? <sighs> all right. A chance to peer into the story past of an enigmatic information dealer is pretty tempting. Guess I'm on board. We'll hunt down this ex-girlfriend of hers post-haste. Not you too, Yamato. Let's go, Tachibana. The suspect is a tall woman in a suit who goes by the name Akio. We can totally do this. Hey, you! Is your name Akiho? Um, what? Whoa, take it easy there, Yamato. Sorry for jumping on you so suddenly. We're trying to track someone down for a friend. Huh, is that right? Well, I'm sorry to say I'm not the suit you're looking for. All right, thanks anyway. Huh, got the wrong person, huh? You need to be a little less scary when you're questioning people. No more Captain Third Degree, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Akio. Excuse me, could I please have just a moment of your time? What can I do for you? Well, you see... Keep your eyes peeled, Yamato. She could be anywhere. I know that. My eyes are plenty peeled. I'm back. How'd it go? She was an Akiho, which is totally a bummer. But still, but still, I got a clue. Apparently, the runner-up at the Akihabara's Moe as Princess Contest last year was a woman named Akiho. Great job, Mippity. Any idea where she might be now? Supposedly, she works at some place down on Junk Street. Well, that definitely narrows it down. Come on. Why would they be looking for Akio? Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to be Akiho, would you? The runner-up from last year's Moeist Princess Contest? Oh, Akiho. I'm not her, but I know her. Sadly, I'm afraid she's returned to her parents' home in Shiba. Oh, she did? Which means... Which means she isn't in Akihabara anymore. I'm sorry. Aw, that's too bad. So all my hopes of learning Akemi's secret history have been dashed to the ground, huh? Excuse me, are you the folks who've been asking around about Akiho? Uh, who are you? You'd best end your search here. Capiche? What's his problem? Maybe this Akiho character is more dangerous than we assumed. Oh, my heart's racing now. That sounds like our search has hit a couple of dead ends, though. Won't be learning much more today. Yeah, I guess not. Let's head back to Violet Eden. Hmm. Hey, 
Tachibana. Isn't that the same guy from before? What's he doing at Violet Eden? Let's go have ourselves a look. There's gotta be more to this story. We should be very, very quiet, though. We don't want anybody hunting rabbits. Well, well. It's been quite some time. I can't tell you how much I've been missing you. Oh, how I wanted to see you too, dear. So, so badly. But circumstances have not been kind to us. Oh, you're such a handsome beau now. Yet you still can't quite shake the feminine speech, can you? Oh, well, that's for today only. And only while I'm here. What the hell's going on here? I... I have no idea. Who's there? Ah! Oh, who are you people? Really now, Asahi? You know it's only the bad boys who get into this eavesdropping business. I'm sorry. Hey, you're those children. Uh, uh, I mean, the hell's the deal here, you dirty mugs? Oh no, it's too late for that. We heard everything. Drat. Well, I suppose today's as good a day as any. Wouldn't you agree, Akiho? The hell? That's Akiho? <laughs> and there you have it. Jeez, why didn't you tell us sooner? How rude. I may look like a man, but I'm still the heart of a maiden. Can't believe you're a chick. I had no idea. Well, she's just as I described her, though, isn't she? Tall and wearing a suit. Yes, she certainly does fit that description. You must keep this a secret, though. The girl I once was, the girl named Akiho, has officially moved back home. So the woman Akemi was pining for is a former drag queen like herself. smell of gyoza? I was just wondering the same thing. Hey, how many times have we told you not to just pop out in public like that? Oh, right. Uh, aren't you supposed to be hiding? I'm pretending to be a plushie. Oh, okay. I like that. I don't mind carrying you around. Mippity, my sweet angel. Fine, fine, whatever. The question is, why are you out right now? Because of that wonderful smell, of course. I'm a creature of instinct. My instinct says, yummy in the tummy. So what do you say we do a walking tour of Akihabara's gourmet scene? I want to indulge. Come on, onward, dingus. Sorry to say, Pinkoon, but Akiba doesn't have any gourmet dog food on offer, as far as I know. Well, I don't eat dog food. I eat regular food. Saki used to take me to all the great local spots back home. All right, why not? You've been a good boy lately. I'm always a good boy. Guess we should start with some gyoza, what with the smell and all. <coughs> ah, gross. Watch where you're aiming that gyoza bread. How'd it taste? It was good. What a substantive evaluation. You should be a food critic. Hey, I call them as I see them. And good food is good. What more needs to be said? I think a lot more could be said. Don't sweat the details, dingus. Let's just go on to the next shop. I want to eat curry this time. Well, if it's Akiba curry you're looking for, Maraba on Junk Street is your place. They've got the best around. My tummy is growling in anticipation. Move faster. Come on, dingus. In, in. Oh, but I'm already full. Ugh, gross. Watch where you're aiming that curry bread. How'd it taste, Pinkoon? It was good. You can't get any more specific? Not even like, man, that was some ace cabbage or anything? I said it was good. That's what matters. There can be no greater praise than good. Ugh, et tu, Mippity? Okay, Dingus. Next order should be... Skemmin! Get the lead out! 
That's fine, but it's all you, understand? I'm not eating a bite. We'll hit up Esabe by the station. Hey, we're here. Let's food. Like I said, I'm good. I'm way past full. Um, Asahi? I'm really full too. Hurry up and take me to the food! Schnell! Schnell! Ugh, all right already. But this is it. You got that? Last stop. Ugh, oh, gross! Garlic blast! You're the one who ordered grated garlic, Mr. I'm Not Eating. How is the scammin, boys? It was good. Oh, crap. How cute! You're like two peas in a good pod. Dingus and Pinkus, two foodies on a delectable journey into Flavor Town. I like the sound of that. God, Pinkoon and I are on the same level now? Just shoot me. I just heard a camera click. Yeah, I heard it too. And it definitely seemed like the flash was pointed in this direction. You think it's... a stalker? I highly doubt that. I should have anticipated this. I'm just too darn cute. Uh-huh. This isn't the first time I've had this happen. I've definitely been on the wrong side of a shutter before. Sure you have. It's not just eyes on me either. People talk too. I can sense it. Whenever said their words, wishing they'd be heard. Yep, I hear ya. You don't believe me? Come on, I'm seriously getting a little skeeved out here. I need you to help me track down and neutralize whatever manner of creep or creeps might be stalking me, okay? I'm telling you, it's all in your head. No one's stalking you. It's not all in my head. You'll see. Something smells rotten in Akiba, and I'm determined to dig it up. Let's smoke these sleazeballs out. Operation Beatstalk begins now! Ugh, seriously? Again? Saki, it's that guy. Ooh, what a shot. The camera loves you, baby. You're caught, creeper. Crap. Mind if I take a look at that photo? Uh, well. Holy, it really is a photo of Saki. I told you, you can't say I didn't tell you. Um, if there's nothing else, I really must be going now. Not a chance, you degenerate. Not until you tell me why in the hell you've been snapping candid shots of me. And even then, whether or not you can go depends very heavily on your answer. I wasn't stalking you, I swear. I thought you were famous since I saw your picture on the net. That's the only reason I snapped shots of you. Honest! Uh, come again? What are you talking about? Where the heck did you see photos of me? Uh, a friend showed them to me, but I don't really remember what site he got them from. They were definitely you, though. No doubt about it. Okay, I guess I can accept that. But you're going to delete all the photos you've taken of me, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm very sorry. Saki, why would photos of you be up on the internet? That's what I want to know. You don't think some pervert's been selling me off to some sleazy website, do you? Actually, didn't Akemi say something about how we've started to become kind of infamous from our questioning? You think there might be a connection to the delusions here? That guy didn't seem like a deluser or anything. I guess all we can really do is try to track down whoever's responsible and bring him to justice. Come on, Asahi! Yeah, this does definitely bear further investigation. No worries, Saki. I'll lend you a hand. Whoa! Is she the real deal? Ugh, that guy's looking pretty shady. Let's go see what he knows. Do you know me by any chance? Holy free holies, you totally are the real deal. Can't believe my luck. You're not just a lookalike, right? You really are the chick they're all talking about online, right? You are so much cuter in person. Oh, you think I'm cute? Yo, Earth to Saki. Creepy doings are a transpiring. What? Oh my, I was 
just about to be lured into the enemy's trap, wasn't I? I don't think I'd go quite that far. <laughs> Typical. She's already got a boyfriend. Don't jump to conclusions. Also, who the hell are you and how the hell do you know Saki? Who's talking about Saki online and what are they saying? Is it a pervy candid shot sight? Tell me the truth. I can handle it. A pervy... what? No, I don't think so. Uh, you were totally posing. You looked really natural, too, like you were enjoying yourself. I was... posing? Um, hold on a second. Ah, yeah, look, it's this site here. We're about to find out the source of my mysterious online presence. Yeah, okay. Let's not waste any more time, then. Let's just get off the crowded street for a sec and take a look. Alright, let's see now. What the heck kind of sight is this? Oh, it's... What? What is it? Is there really a photo of me on there? Oh yeah, a bunch of them. And, well... Well, what? They've got a ton of excellence across the board. Excellence? What does that mean? There's an excellent button under each photo. And I guess you click it if you like what you see. Here, look. There are cute photos of you and photos where you're rocking some pretty stylish clothes. What the heck? I know, right? And this one was taken on a regular old street corner. But there you are, posing away. <laughs> Check this one out. You're listed as an Akiba beauty. Can you believe it? Excuse me? Oh, you're excused. But I mean, these definitely aren't candid shots. Do you really not remember posing for these, Saki? Hmm. No, I really don't. And I certainly never gave permission for them to be posted. These are completely unauthorized. Where was this even taken? Looks like the side streets of Akiba to me. So the culprit's lurking on the periphery of the town, then. Come on, Asahi. We've got a creep to catch. Somehow I don't entirely believe her when she says these were taken without her permission. Call it a hunch. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Mo Moetan, we we could be to together together soon. Yo, Nekara. Uh, who? Wait, aren't you Ken Nekara, the guy who's always chasing after Moe? Probably doesn't remember us though. What is it? Do you need need something from me? Yeah, an explanation. Why have you been taking photos of Saki? Um, wait, Asahi. I think I remember now. Uh, um, excuse m m me. Huh? Are you talking to me? Uh, yeah, yes, that that's right. Uh, um, would uh, do you do you think I could um maybe t take some pictures of you? What? Pictures? Oh, well, uh, you, you see, it's for a, a fashion, fashion shoot. An uh, Akihabara, um, style shoot? You, you're, um, just so, so, so pr uh, um, beautiful, beautiful. I, I thought I'd, I, I'd ask. Hmm. Well, I'm in a good mood today, so why not? Th thank you. Th thanks very much. Saki, what the hell? What the hell indeed? That's exactly how it happened. So you made this whole big deal over nothing? Though I'm actually more interested in hearing this pipsqueak side of things for the moment. Y you mean me? It just strikes me as a little sketchy that you're taking photos of people other than your beloved Moe. It's, it's, it's for my, my, my job. I, I've got a, a part-time job as a f photographer. You, you have to believe me. Hmm. Well, you didn't seem to remember Saki at all when we met just now. So your story does check out there. moe Tan is the only girl I, I have eyes for. I'm not interested in, in a, a, anyone else at all. Can, can, can I go now? I, I'm going to, to go. Bye.
Guess he was just being polite for his job when he told you all that. He was probably thinking of Moe at the time. Huh. Well, it's alright, I suppose. The mystery is solved now, and all is well. Still, it is pretty unlike you. What is? You strike me as the kind of person who'd be endlessly camera shot. Were you really in that good a mood when he approached you for those photos? Oh, I see. He, uh, just happened to catch me at a really good time. There was a fashion show at school that day. A fashion show? At school? What, didn't I tell you? I may nullify delusions by night, but by day, I'm just a student at a fashion design institute. And the day that guy approached me just so happened to be one of our shows. As in, a school show, not a real one. But whether it's for class or for the camera, fashion shows always put me in the best mood. I love the spotlight. <laughs> now the pieces are all starting to fall into place. What do you mean? Those pictures were definitely of you, but something about them seemed off. They just gave off a different vibe. Oh, like I was radiant, maybe? Yeah, yeah, all blushy like that. Your cheeks were super red, but you were also wearing way too much eyeliner. And your eyelashes looked really fake, too. Probably because they were, right? And your hair. Oh, that hair. Uh, Sahi. Uh, 